place a foam roller on the floor, lie down on top of it. You want the foam roller positioned just about level with the bottom of your chest. Wrap your hands around the back of your head and bring your elbows in almost like you're making ear muffs around your ears. From there, just gonna extend the thoracic spine down as low as you can go and come back up. Okay, remember to breathe throughout, and it sounds weird, um, but pay attention to where your tongue is in your mouth. When your tongue is in the bottom of your mouth, um, you're more likely to breathe in a, in a parasympathetic state, get you a little bit more relaxed, get you a little bit more range of motion. People typically go wrong with this exercise when they get more of the range of motion from their, for, uh, from their lumbar spine rather than the thoracic spine, okay? Uh, so you'll see people sort of get here, the ribs come off, they get a big hinge in their thoracic lumbar junction here or in their lumbar spine and their low back, okay? So in order to combat that, cue we use is to try and elongate the sternum as much as possible so the range of motion is going to come from here upwards okay so think of the bottom of the sternum being a fixed point and you're just going to try and move away from that as much as possible okay second key cue keep the ribs down okay you can even do this to check you can place one hand across your ribs make sure they're down and then from there just crunch down as far as you can, keeping that, keeping the ribs down. Now you know that all of that motion is coming from the thoracic spine and not from the lumbar spine. Okay, so now you can take that feeling, put both hands behind your head, just keep the ribs down, 